Welcome to the world of the National Child Development Process. The following presentation will make you more familiar with this process. By enrolling in this course, you are now official an official part of the National CDA, or the Child Development Associate. If you do not yet have a CDA packet, you need to get one from the Council for Professional Recognition. Most of this presentation comes directly out of the manual. If you've decided to pursue the CDA, you definitely need this manual. Most of you are pursuing your CDA because you have been told that you need to to keep your job. Some of you know that a CDA will mean more money in your paycheck. And of course, all of you are doing it because you want to be better early childhood educators. This is a big commitment. By pursuing your CDA through Florida Southwestern, you are also earning college credit. So you will meet early childhood national standards and state outcomes for a college level class. As part of the CDA process, you will have a professional development specialist observe you working and interacting with children. This comes near the end of the credentialing process. Teaching is often an isolated occupation. So to have a pro professional development specialist come and observe you, it is a chance to get feedback and expert knowledge about working and inter interacting with young children. Through this feedback and knowledge gained in your coursework, you will grow and develop as an early childhood educator. After you have completed three early childhood courses, assembled a portfolio, surveyed your families, and applied to the council for your final assessment, you will earn the National CDA. Remember, you will not earn your CDA from Florida Southwestern. We only provide the three college courses, which equates to the 120 hours of training. What is a CDA? This is a very important definition. As a child development associate, you will be able to meet children's specific needs. You'll be able to identify their strengths and their areas of weakness. You will be able to talk knowledgeable about children's physical, social, emotional, and intellectual growth. We'll learn how the CDA process breaks these down into specific competency areas. We'll also talk about how you will demonstrate that you have all these skills. Being a CDA is not just a label. It is who you will become. Hopefully you'll find it professionally rewarding and professionally challenging. So, what exactly are the requirements? What will you be expected to do? What is the process? There are five specific requirements. You must have a high school education or GED diploma, be knowledgeable in the English language, commit to 120 training hours or the three early childhood courses we offer here at FSW, you will need to work with children at least 100, 480 hours. They may be volunteer hours, just make sure that they're documented. You will submit questionnaires to the families you work with and then pr present a professional portfolio. These are the three classes that we offer here at Florida Southwestern that are specific to the CDA process. The curriculum and assignments are designed to complete your requirements for the professional resource file. It's important to stress again that you will not receive your National Child Development credential from Florida Southwestern. We only provide you with the educational component, the 120 clock hours cited previously. But rest assured, we help you fill out the application and complete the entire process. A great deal of research was done before the following standards were selected to be the criteria used to evaluate you and your work with children. These competency standards will be the major focus of your work here at FSW. They cover all components of your work with young children, their health and safety, the environments we share with them, their physicalness, their intellectualness, social development, emotional development, and most importantly, help them learn self-regulation and positive guidance. The last, three goal, the last three standards deal with our work with families, our programs, and our place within the early childhood profession. It's a great deal to learn, but is certainly a worthy journey. So let 
the adventure begin.